my parents are over in Korea right now. I need to contact them first to verify what you're saying. And I said to him, wait till I hear back from them. Since they're in Korea, it's going to take about a day or two for them to uh, respond back to me because of emails and they were just going to... When he said, I'm here to cut more trees, did he tell you which trees he wanted to cut? He was kind of vague about everything and I wasn't going to listen to him because I only listened to, to my parents. They're okay. the property So owner. you had to find out from your parents whether they had made yes. an additional arrangement with him. Correct. Okay. And when your parents left for Korea, sir, leaving you in charge of the house, did they give you any house instructions? The only thing uh, I had to just keep up with the bills, and the only thing as far as landscaping was every other Friday they have the lawnmowers come by or the leaf blowers, and I was only to pay their, their regular fee for that. Okay, but other than those two things, your parents never discussed with you before they left that additional landscaping or any other work was to be done on the house? No, not at all. Dwight surprised me completely. Okay, so you told him to wait. I told him to wait, and then I asked him, could I please have his phone number? He said to me at that point, I gave my number to your mom, and I said, well, I don't have it. Please give it to me again. And then he started walking away and said, I forgot it. So I was kind of perplexed at that moment. And I said, for about the fifth time, I said, well, whatever. Do not do anything until you hear from me. Okay, that's clear. Right. The next day on the 22nd, about 1 p.m. after the lawnmower guys came by, I left the property after 1 p.m. And I didn't return back that Friday night until after about 9-ish. And uh, I think when I was in the kitchen, I happened to look out through the blinds. It was dark outside. And I said, oh, my God, he's cut the trees down. The next morning, I get a call from Korea from my parents. I answered the phone and I said, Mom, Dad, did you guys want any trees cut? And they said, no. And I said, well, I hate to say this, but yesterday, Dwight McGill came onto your property without my permission, and he cut down Mom's favorite trees. At that point, after talking with my parents, I hang up the phone, walk outside. He's dragging away. Who's he? Dwight McGill. He's dragging away branches into his brother's property. And I said, I was so upset. I said to him, I said, what did you do? I told you to wait. And I said, you okay. know, you just cut the trees. Yeah. All right, Mr. McGill, right. now I'll hear you, sir. Yes, okay, when I went over there, I knocked on his door and I said, I'm gonna finish off the contract that your mother wanted me to cut the trees down. Before I asked her to cut the trees down, she is Korean, my brother speaks full and clear. He came up there and talked to her and asked her exactly what she wanted to cut down. Two weeks after I got finished, I went to finish off my brother's stuff. I knocked on the door, I told him, I said, I'm gonna cut the trees down. He said, I'm gonna call my mom. I'm thinking that his mom's at the Brutally Parley or something like that. I did not know she was in Korea. No, no, I'm gonna, just a second. Yes, ma'am. He said he knew nothing about it. Mm -hmm. He said, I don't know anything about it. I'm going to call my mom. Yes, ma'am. Did he ever get back to you? No, he did, never no, got no. back to me. Right. So, just and a second. So, he never got back to you. I told him no, that... The question is, he never got back to you. He said, I have to ask my mom. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Your Honor. So, can I continue? Yeah. So I, I told him, I'll wait a couple of hours for you to call your mom. And I went back, did some work at my brother's. I goes and I cuts the tree down. It's turned about dark time. I looks up the next morning. All the trees are still in the yard and everything. He looks at me. He don't say nothing to me. When I started cutting the rest of the tree down and Just pulled... a minute. Why did you go and cut the tree down? Why didn't you wait until you spoke to him? Because his mother told me to cut the tree down. No, 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 no. No, 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 Mr. McGill. No, sir. The person she left in charge of the house, her son, said, wait, I have to call my mother. And you didn't wait. The person, the agent that was left in charge of the property told you to do nothing until you heard from him. That's what he, in effect, said, and you got it. You understood it. There's no question you understood. He said, I have to ask my mother. But, Your Honor, I said to him, if you don't get in touch with me, I'm going to go cut the trees down. He, oh, then he, you're ridiculous. He, then there's he, something he, wrong he, with you. <laughs> then there's something wrong with you, Mr. McGill. Judgment for the plaintiff. You ruined their backyard. $5,000. Your counterclaim is dismissed for the work that you did. We're done. Outrageous.